What's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, we're doing Larry Bird 42 points, eight assists versus Bucks full highlights. Uh, looks like it says 1987. So this could be fun. Uh, it's been a while since I did a Larry Bird video. I want to bring some back, but it's just I've done so many Larry Bird videos that I sometimes I forget which ones I do. So I don't know if any of y'all know which ones I haven't done. It'd be nice. But uh, I will check through them sooner or later. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, let's move over here, I guess. All right, let's go. Off on McHale. Pressy picks him up underneath. That's a size mismatch. Bird Easy shot. First shot just as you I love I love his form. I know it's unorthodox. And he misses the shot. Ooh, ooh. Nice. Get it right back, baby. Bird comes inside on nice. Now up over the top. Well, you can see how the Celtics are looking. Understand that people think that uh, he's very slow and all that stuff, but look, look at the hand. Look where his hand is. He still shot over this guy. I don't know if you can see my. No, you can't see the mouse. His hand is right next to the ball. That's not an easy shot when you got like a defender on you. That's not an easy shot at all. People keep saying like it looks slow, but in real time, when he was playing, I didn't grow up watching you know live games or anything but if if i was there in real time and shot that shot it would be easy to get swatted so that's a pretty tough shot it just looks so easy for him nice nice defense it's good defense though Pressy out with Bird, they dump McHale. McHale. Love it, love it. Good jump hook up over Sigma, that great. I did a McHale video and that was he was a beast. Parrish will roll up a hook and he's hot. Six points here. Oh, they, they got Parrish. Golly, they the going the foul. Game three fouled out for first time in 111 career playoff games. Golly. He must have been mad that game. Or the rest were just calling it. Very aggressive when McHale turns on the inside and missed the roll, but there's Bird. Nice. His height definitely gives him a pretty good advantage a little bit. Now in that first game when Bird... Bird's been perfect on all four of his free throws, so... To him, if Danny Ainge has to play against him. Larry Bird... I love this fucking shot. Or, excuse me. Excuse my language. This Boston Celtic team. Nice. And he gives them the lead. There's fire, and the Birdman's up. up at the ceiling. The I wish it'd show his points. Good day, good day. Good defense. Celtics ball. It's 27-26. The Bucks with a lead. We've had the technical call on Kevin McHale. DJ trying to get on the board here for Boston, and he does. Now we see Mike Green having the matchup against Bird. And Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Puts four on that scoreboard. This afternoon. Dennis and Larry are like friends, man. Nice. Those are tough shots. They don't look tough, but those are tough shots. Now Bird gets it into McHale. McHale on the drive. That's 15 for McHale. You never think that you'll be ever ever able to achieve that goal, but Good shot. they might put the, he might have his own goal. 14 points first period. Go. Now Lucas battling Ainge defensively. He had some defensive problems early. Bird on the turnaround hits it, and that's 21. It's pretty fast. He's actually pretty fast. Well, they look for Lucas spotting up for the three-pointer. Also a very good perimeter shooter. Seven from 12, though. That's, that's, that's not bad. Well, Danny Ainge action. Let's go. He's doing more than just scoring. I like it. Kale. Kale loves that hook shot too. Golly. And here you have not missed a thing. Milwaukee up 97, 95. A tough shot. A tough shot. That's a tough shot. Uh, I love the fact that, that back then they did the hook shot a lot more. It seems like it's like they loved it more. It, I don't know why, but I guess it was newer to them than it is to us now. But I love the fact that they use the hook shot a lot more. 
Uh, can you imagine having Robert Parrish, Kevin McHale, Bill Walton on the same team? Like, that's three great, like, great uh, big men right there. I mean, Kevin McHale is... That video I watched was... That was insane. Kevin McHale was insane. It was great. Uh, Robert Parrish, what, has 11 rings? Like, what? You know what I mean? That's a lot of rings, dude. Of course, Celtics, I think, won a lot, I think, back then. I think they were in the finals a lot more than they are now, that's for sure. Here you have not missed a thing. Milwaukee up 97, 99. Nice. Oh. On the turnaround and Tough shot. The Tough shot. Brinks on that play. Paul Pressey had a fight through three points to get to Gary Bird. Bird bangs in a home run. Dang, I thought he lost it. He gave it right back. Three for Bird and 28 points on the game. Celtics are down by three at the 7 12 in the final period. Makes go. Everybody's doing and stuff. That's good. I want to say that again, yeah. Of Larry Bird to the hoop. At the line. Draws the foul first in the concentration. Tough shot. Still watching Tough that shot. shot go in the basket. Yeah, there's a difference between raw speed and. But all they did is they set the defense up for, for Bird to come off the tail for that jumper. He's 11 of 13 from that free throw line this afternoon. 50 mark. Don Nelson wants the double team, but Cummings never got out there to help. McHale on the turnaround hits the shot. And it's has got it. To two. One time Bird spins on the inside. McHale with a great defense okay. play, but Bird credit him with sticking with Moncrief. Now it's Dennis Johnson and Boom. Bird too easy. Y'all left him way too much space. 115 all at 145. Timeout, Don Nelson and the Bucks. They are showing you why they are the NBA champions. We see the Bucks going to a little trapping defense. Ainge cuts inside with Kesky. Bird couldn't get the handle quickly enough. So Ooh. Ooh, Ooh Dennis, right? Yep. We approach the one minute mark. Foot speed wise, he's not going to. Foul trouble. Dang. We got a lot of fouls in this one. <laughs> Excuse me. Be able to keep up with Bird. Five for Bird. On Johnson, and they get it back out to Bird. Here's Ainge. Ainge, come on. Oh, nice. Now Bird. Oh. Oh, wow. I love how he knows where he's at. Look, see his foot go in? He knows that if he puts his foot, he knows where his foot's going to be. So, like, he, he puts his foot right back for the three. Even though he's leaning forward, he knew exactly where he was at. As soon as he shot it, he looked at the official to make sure he got the three. Yep. Use some of that clock. Ooh. Nothing but. Nothing but net. Bird. That's actually pretty rare. Uh, I don't mean to pause it so much, but that's actually pretty rare for him to only have two threes out of what forty? How many points does he have? When he hit those two threes, he has a lot of points, and he's only hit two threes. That's pretty rare. So he's done everything until Bird now of shooting threes. Three. Forty-two points for Bird. In overtime, he's hit two three-point plays. You cannot so 42 say points. enough about Larry Bird. We ran out of adjectives five years ago. <laughs> he's unbelievable. That makes sense. Well, the first thing oh. Five years ago. What's his score? About two points. 31 seconds left. Well, the first thing that happened, Terry Cummings overtime. He had to shoot it so high to get that off, too. Do you think he loves to play this game? Whenever I've been around the Celtics, he's one of the first players to step out and practice. Practice, practice. As a matter of fact, he mentioned us. He was looking for 42, 7 rebounds, 7 assists. Now it's Bird. There's his 8 assists. Yep. 
Oh, dude, it must have been fun to watch them play, dude. Oh, it's over. Nice. That was game four. What did that put him at? What did that put him at? What does it say? Eight assists. Play the game four. last five seconds of the drama. Oh, I don't say. Okay. Lucas looking for someone. Cummings battling for the ball, and this took up precious time. They could not get it cleanly. And Kevin McHale was shaken up as time was running out. That would suck if you got been unable to play. That would suck if you got injured. I'm not saying he got injured, but at the very end of the game, that would suck if you got injured. That would just be horrible because you played the whole game, didn't get injured, and at the very end, now it screws your next game up. You know what I mean? That would suck. As time was running out. Hopefully he didn't get injured there. I don't know if he, he did. He has been unable to play a couple of games earlier because of an ankle injury, and today he went 55-plus minutes, and then at the very end. Yeah, that would be bad. The heck? Was that the end of it? Okay, yeah, that was the end of it. Oh, that was great. Uh, he has 42 points, 8 assists. That was game four. Uh, I love that he did He did way more than just score. He passed it. He got rebounds. Of course he's got rebounds. They don't show his rebounds. What do you have, seven or eight rebounds or something like that? But his his whole team did a lot. And I was watching. It, was like, it just seemed so crazy that he has Robert Parrish, Kevin McHale, and Bill Walton on the same team. Like, do they just switch each other out? Like, like who's starting there? I know Kevin McHale's starting, but is Robert Parrish the center? Kevin McHale being power forward? That's how long it's been since I've done some Larry Bird videos that I forgot some stuff about it. But, yeah, I enjoyed that. Uh, if you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.